So we're here at the Computex 2015, and who are you? My name is Ben Dolgen Gardner. So what do you do? Uh, I run a company called Hatch, and we make custom Android devices. So sometimes uh, Android isn't used for just uh, smartphones and tablets, but uh, it can be used for a large amount of different products. Um, and we help customers make custom devices sometimes. Custom uh, electronics, custom firmware, custom casing uh, for industrial use or consumer use. So that's what we do. So you're based in China, in Shenzhen? Yeah, are you in Shenzhen or where yeah, are you? Yeah, our office is based in, in Shenzhen. Yeah. So uh, how many people in the company? Uh, 15 people. And you like, so, so you, are you a design house? Uh, we're not exactly a design house. The design house will just focus on doing the PCBA. What we do is integrate resources. So the design house is one of the resources we use. Then maybe, uh, I mean, there's a customer coming to us for a custom POS now. So we're finding things like the printer that they're going to use, and they want a certain um, magnetic reader for cards and credit cards uh, or IC reader. So we'll help integrate all the resources, bring it together. Um, they need a custom mold. You know, we'll do their uh, mechanical engineering for them, the design for them, uh, make the actual tooling. And, uh, and then deliver a final product to them. So we work with customers that kind of, they want a, f a finished product, they're not necessarily technical, even though sometimes they are, and then we help them connect the dots and, and get what they need. So uh, you make things done, you make things happen, right? That's <laughs> yeah. the most important. Exactly. Lots of people have ideas, but you want to make it real? And you can yeah. make, you have experience with that? That's For how right. long have you been doing this? So I started the company back in 2004. Back then it was MP3 players. And uh, we went through a period where we were doing very high volume into U.S. retailers, doing over a million MP3 players a year, hundreds of thousands of tablets a year. And uh, we kind of redefined the company in uh, the end of 2013, beginning 2014, to focus on Android products. Um, and that's sort of the direction we're going in right now. So, uh, so you are experts in sourcing stuff and finding the right guys in Shenzhen and, and like uh, uh, getting the right engineers involved. Exactly and, right, yeah. So how many things have you been doing? So uh, do you well, have I some mean, examples or is everything secret? No, no. This, I mean, the, for example, just a recent project they're working on right now, it just won uh, the TechCrunch meetup in Seoul for like the most promising startup. Um, it's, a, it's a medical device actually, it's based on an Android platform. And this company, what they wanted to have done was integrate a blood analyzer with an Android smartphone. Uh, and the idea there is that uh, patients can uh, send their medical information directly to hospitals or insurance companies. Um, and the blood analyzer part is also a, a new component where it could read 50 different types of diseases. So as opposed to going to a hospital where it takes like 48 to 72 hours to get your blood work done, you can get it done fairly quickly, you can analyze a bunch of diseases, and then you send all that data to your healthcare provider and you have a, a nice record of it. And I think in the long term, the play is that when you have enough statistics, you can start making sort of preventative um, type prognosis, like 60% of people that have this kind of history might end up with this new disease or you know, might have, so I think that's the, the big play. So a company approached you and said we want to do that and you figured out how to do it? So this company has a background in medical devices. So they came to us with, with their sensor board, which was the, the blood analyzer part of it. And then what they did is they gave us a very rough sensor board and we helped them integrate it into a non-existing phone we created from scratch. So everything from, from the casing to the PCBA to some custom interfaces that they needed to have done. Uh, we put it together for them. So uh, Shenzhen is like uh, the real Silicon Valley, right? Is where the hardware is being done, and uh, Silicon Valley is just the place for iPhone apps. Well, I think I think there's a lot of creativity in Silicon Valley. Um, I think Shenzhen's a great resource that that creativity can can utilize, as you mentioned before, to get their ideas done, right? So. There's, there's definitely creativity in Shenzhen, but not quite as much as you find in, in Silicon Valley. So, so in Silicon Valley, there's a bunch of guys with crazy ideas, but none of them know how to do it? And they get to you to get it done? Yeah, I wouldn't say none of them know how to do it, but I think that their, their key value is those crazy ideas. And our key value is helping them execute on those crazy ideas. So that's, that's how we work together. And do you do partnerships, or do you do charge a fee? How does it work? So generally speaking, we'll just sell the product. So um, we'll make uh, an assessment of how much development is going to require in terms of like cost, time, experience, whatever, um, resources. So we'll amortize that into the unit cost and then we'll say, okay, you can guarantee us 10,000 pieces or 20,000 pieces. So for your first 20,000 pieces, it's going to cost this amount. After that, it'll be lower because we've already sort of worked out the development costs. But uh, I, I guess that some of the ideas are so crazy, it might be awesome, 
but they, it's hard to ship sometimes, right? To sell, and then uh, so there's a risk component in your company. There's a huge or, risk component, but or you, do have you actually get charged up front a bunch of money. Well, we don't want to see projects fail, right? So before we get into a project, we definitely analyze it and make sure that it's something one that we can do, and two, there's a market for it. We don't want to see someone being all excited about things, getting investor money, using their own money, paying for it, and then it turns out no one wants to buy it, right? So we'll definitely have a couple startup meetings and say, okay, you know, what's your plan? How does this work? And, and then we'll say, look, if we really believe in it as well, then let's do this, let's make it happen. Um, they do pay a deposit in the beginning, right? And then as time goes on, we ship more products, they pay more along the way. All right, so, uh, but uh, sometimes it's difficult, right? It, it, uh, some ideas might be awesome for the guy that got the idea, but not awesome for the people listening to right, the idea. Right. But it might actually be an, an awesome idea, but it's difficult to know sometimes. So you, you don't know before you know, people buy it or they don't. Yeah, that's often the case, like, especially as an entrepreneur, when you have an idea, you hope that everyone loves your idea and you truly believe in it. Uh, but sometimes it's tough to see the big picture. So we try to take it from the big picture perspective and, and make judgments based on that. Do you provide marketing stuff or they have people find that out? Because that's important. That's maybe the most important. Do you mean how do we market? To, to get stuff on the market, to get it uh, sold. Yeah, great question. Um, so we, we do have some channels in the US that we can help people with, but they're more on the retail side. Um, we hope that our customers come in with their channels. We really focus on just that product development, manufacturing sort of resource. Um, in terms of like the direction, uh, the distribution, the after sales service, that kind of stuff is, is usually in our customers' hands. So can you give two or three more examples of uh, what you do with Android? Like it's tablet related, smartphone related, what, what kind of... Uh, just yeah, sure. Um, so, I mean, we also do mass market retail stuff, right? So. Uh, the, it's kind of obscure, but the largest uh, mobile device retailer in the Ukraine has a house brand, and that's our client. Um, the largest uh, MP3 brand in the US behind Apple uh, started with MP3 players, moved into tablets, and we helped them make that transition. And products were selling in you know, very large tier one retailers in the US. We were behind those products as well. Um, we work with MVNOs, which are uh, cell phone network providers. Well, they don't provide the physical Resellers network. Resellers of bandwidth? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So they'll, they'll get wholesale prices on, band, on, on network time, I guess, from the networks. And, you know, we make products for them as well. And you're very well connected with like Allwinner and stuff like that. And then you can uh, get it, the Allwinner the solutions customized well, for all kinds of stuff. That's exactly right. So, you know, from a technical standpoint, we have direct relationships uh, with all the major Android IC companies, uh, All Winner, Rockchips, uh, MediaTek, Spectrum, uh, Actions, and uh, you know, we'll figure out what the client wants. Um, you know, we'll figure out what resources are available, what the best company is to work with, and then we'll work with the IC company if necessary. But sometimes it's not necessary. Sometimes you can just work with the design house um, and and get it done that way.